Then we have the Battle of Issus. Now, the Battle of Issus is often referred to as the Alexander Mosaic, and what we're seeing is believed to be the Battle at Issus in which Alexander will defeat the Persian king Darius II. So here's the image, but there's a little more to it because what we're actually seeing is a large floor mosaic from a Roman house at Pompeii. Now we believe that this is a faithful copy of the Greek original, but we don't have the Greek original. So we're looking at a Roman copy because we don't have that original. And this is what's known as a tessera, T-E-S-S-E-R-E-A. In other words, the whole thing is laid out and created with tiny pebbles rather than glass. So it's not really a mosaic. And what we're seeing here is Alexander looking directly at Darius. Darius looking back as his troops begin to escape and retreat from the battlefield, almost wishing to stay there, to have that hero's death, even if it's at the hands of Alexander. Now, we also see a great deal of foreshortening. The best example being the horse's butt. Um, so when you look at the rear end of that horse, it's actually coming out towards us, and you see how they've used different colors of stone to bring that out where we have the highlight and we're moving through these different tones moving back. So not only are they getting the compositional issue right where the horse is facing away from us, here's the head by the way coming up and being held, but they get the coloration to add to that degree of accuracy. Now we'll also see uh, the figures sort of interacting with this barren space where they're existing within it. Another interesting element is this figure here, which we never really see in a lot of detail, except for there. This is a dying warrior, and the warrior is actually facing away from us. So what we're seeing is a face, a reflection in his shield which is really remarkable when you think about it because that takes a lot of planning to figure out that you're going to see this man's reflection in the shield smaller and distorted because, of course, the shield is going to be round. So this work is known for this technical mastery, which we see here, which we see in the foreshortening of the horse. It's, it's an outstanding piece, a great deal of detail to see from the ancient Greek world.